welcome to this English session. Many years ago, I heard a motivational narrative from a senior teacher. Even now, I find so many beautiful video clips on YouTube depicting the same idea. I hope you know the meaning of the word gasan. It is not the music, but it is a kind of antelope. The narration goes like this. Every morning in Africa, a gazelle wakes up. It knows it has to run faster than the fastest lion, for it might be killed. Every morning in Africa, a lioness wakes up. It knows it has to run faster than the slowest gazelle, for its cubs might be stopped. It doesn't matter whether you are a lion or a gazelle. When the sun comes up, you better be running. My dear students, we all know that life is a race. It is a struggle. Are you ready for this struggle? Are you ready for this race? Yes. I know that you all are ready for this struggle. You all are ready for this race. In the last session, I introduced the second year English reader to you, especially the first block. I also explained the first paragraph of the chapter, The Three Ls of Empowerment by Christian Lega, even though I didn't read out it. On page number 8, you find a beautiful collage. In that collage, you see photographs of eminent women personalities. You can find Mary Kom, Smita Patil. You can also find Helena Borden and J.K. Rowling, the author of the thrilling Harry Potter series. They all are empowered. Now you find empowered women in our society. You find female doctors. You can see female professors, female scientists, female politicians, female political heads like Angela Merkel, the Chancellor of Germany, Jessica Arden, the Prime Minister of New Zealand, and so many other eminent personalities, other eminent and empowered women personalities. Things seem to be changing for the better. But are they enough? Are these changes enough? Are these reforms enough? No, they are not enough. Still, you find millions of women in our country who remain blocked from contributing their true potential to the society. How can this situation be changed? This is addressed by Christian Lagarde in her speech, The Three L's of Empowerment. Shall we move on to the text? Yes. The chapter, The Three L's of Empowerment. Read and reflect. Emancipation and empowerment of women is of prime importance in every society. In our country, we have achieved partial success, but we still have a long way to go. What should we do to achieve this goal? 
Here is a speech on the requisites of women empowerment. Read on. In the past in India, there were so many evil practices. There were so many social evils. Sadi was one such evil. In those days, girls were not allowed to go to schools because many people in the society thought that, many elderly people thought that sending girls to schools would corrupt the society morally. Then there was another serious issue. If there were widows, usually after the death of the husband, the widow was forcibly pushed to the funeral pile. But if there were some widows, they were not allowed to remarry. Thanks to the great works of eminent social reformers like Raja Ram Mohan Roy, the father of Indian Renaissance, Govitra Phule, Savitri Phule, Ishwar Chandra Vidya Sagar, and many others. Many of these social, social evils were wiped out from our society. But in many parts of our country, women are deprived of educational opportunities. Girls are not allowed to go to schools. Especially in backward states, the elderly people, parents do not allow their girls to go to schools. Their argument is, why should we educate these girls? After all, they will end up in the four walls of kitchen. So, the time calls for an attitudinal shift. The mindset of the people should be changed. Women should be given equal educational opportunities. The chapter, The Three L's of Empowerment by Christian Lagarde addresses many of these issues faced by women even in the contemporary society. Now I shall read the text. The first paragraph, I have already explained it. Listen to this. Three L's of Empowerment by Christian Lagarde. Good afternoon. It is great to be among friends and kindred spirits. The 21st century poses many challenges that require new ways of thinking. None more important than the economic role of women in a rapidly changing world. But women today remain blocked from contributing that to potential. This has a huge cost. In some countries, per capita income lags significantly because women are denied equal opportunity. They represent half the world's population but contribute far less than 50% of economic activity. What is needed to change this picture is a concerted effort to open the door to opportunity with what I call the three L's of women's empowerment, learning, labor, and leadership. The very first paragraph of her speech, she says that the 21st century presents so many challenges. And the most important challenge is the economic role of women. Women are unable to contribute to the economic activities of a nation. Most of the common students, economic students, they are familiar with the term economic activity. If you ask a common student, an economic student, the meaning of the term economic activity, they will definitely come up with the answer. Any activity which is related to the protection, distribution and consumption. But here you can take a very simple uh, meaning or definition for the expression economic activity. It just means an activity 
which can generate wealth and activity which can generate income. If women are unable to generate income, if women are unable to contribute to all those activities which generate income, which generate wealth, the per capita income of a nation lacks. Per capita income of nations lacks. And again, economics and commerce students are familiar with the term per capita income. What do you mean by per capita income? It is the average income of a person. The average income of the people of a nation. So, the average income of a nation lacks trails behind when women are unable to contribute to the developmental activities, to the economic activities of a nation. When 50% of the total population is denied of these opportunities, the country's income lacks, per capita income lacks. How can we change this situation? Christian Lagarde says we need a concerted effort to tackle this issue, to address this issue. We need a combined effort to address this issue with the help of those three else learning, labor and leadership. In the last class, I gave you an assignment prepare a write up on the need to empower women. I hope all of you have completed that particular assignment and today you don't have to write any assignment but you have to ponder over the economic role of women, how women are unable to contribute to the economic activities of a nation, how women are unable to realize the true potential, all these things you have to keep in your mind, ponder over all these ideas, ponder over all these issues, etc. And be prepared for the next session, a very important session. The next session will be on the first factor, the first L, learning. That's all for the day. Thank you.